was the night before Brexit and all through the air hung a feeling of sadness and a sense of despair. As a British MEP, I'll soon take my leave. But first, hear my story on this cold Brexit Eve. From my privileged place as a Green MEP, the rise of the far right is what really scares me. With Salvini, Le Pen, Orban and Farage spreading hatred and anger and fear by the barrage. They say migrants like me are the root of all ills and the reasons you struggle to pay all your bills. But you're smarter than that, don't believe their illusions. Check who profits from the system and draw your conclusions. And Boris, we're not fooled by a 50 pence piece made to line the pockets of your hedge fund elites. Meanwhile, children go hungry and mums make do with less, while Trump greedily eyes up our beloved NHS. On Johnson, on Goldsmith, on Rob and Patel, on your head be the disaster that Brexit will spell. For progressives, the next steps are now paramount. Let's regroup and rethink and hold them to account. Those who subjugate us to this disastrous fate wish that we would divide in the wake of their hate. But we must band together in our hearts, we must make room to share peace and compassion. Assalamu alaikum. And here in Brussels, things could get duller. Because after Brexit, there's just a few MEPs of colour. It's a far cry from hope and representation for the beauty and wealth of these 27 nations. This house is on fire, crisis knocks at the door. The Green Deal is good, but we need so much more because soon millions more will need looking after in the flames and floods of climate disaster. Au revoir, Aridivici, Totsens, and Edu. Keep believing and acting for our beloved EU. With a few more grey hairs and the same yellow cap, who knows in a few years, I might just be back. Dear friends in Europe, heed our rallying cry. Brexit to all and to all goodbye. Thank you.